Trans series, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm your host Jason, and today we're going to be looking at some images of the new TF Dream Factory Dark of the Moon Leader Class Megatron. Now, to me, there are two prototypes. One looks like a mistransformed one, and one looks like a completed one. So let's start out with the mistransformed one. So here we have Dark of the Moon Megatron. Now, he looks really cool in this image. You can see his truck mode and his robot mode. Let's go start out with truck mode first. So here we see the Age of Extinction Optimus Prime next to him, and he is pretty long compared to Optimus Prime. He also has a lot of detail and it reminds me a lot of the Voyager Megatron what came out in Dark of the Moon. Moving on to Megatron's robot mode we see that he's bigger than Optimus Prime which is true in the movies. Some people say that Optimus is 25 feet and Megatron is 10 more feet than him but it scales really well because he is taller than Optimus Prime. Now you may be wondering what this gray Megatron is in here for and I believe that is another product that Dream Factory is making to come out later but we're focusing on the Dark of the Moon mix. Our next image of Megatron is in his vehicle mode again next to Optimus Prime which looks like a top shot and now we can see all those epic spikes that he has. It looks pretty cool from what we can see. And it's going to look at 10 times better when it has paint. And what I am wondering is if he has the tarp that comes with this. We have not seen any images of it, but I'm going to believe it does come with it. Here's another image of Megatron. I don't know if you can see it, but in the grill, he has this like toe hook thing, which is really accurate to the movie, and I do not believe the original Voyager had it, so that's pretty cool. He also has that bit over there, which kind of resembles where that net was, so I guess they worked around that pretty good for that added detail, even though, yes, it looks like it's going to be a hinge piece, but we have to see it when it's actually in stock. Here's another image of Megatron from the side shot, and he's all in robot mode, and we can see his head better along with his whole body. So let's go start with his head. His head looks really cool cool it has a lot of like detail to it and i think once this is painted it's gonna look amazing you can also see his tires next to his head which is not a hundred percent accurate to the movie but hey it's something so i think this is gonna be a great replacement for all those revenge of the fallen megatron toys that are leader class also in this megatron we can see the feet and the feet do look pretty good yes the toes there is this big middle part i do not like it, it doesn't really look like a toe it just looks like a block so that may be in the final project i'm not sure this is yes i said a prototype but it may be gone back on the legs we see these uh knee pads and we also see these two arms now what i think is cool about the two arms is if you remember in revenge of the fallen megatron got one of his arms chopped off so he has a new arm and one of his arms is from his old revenge of the fallen mold which looks pretty cool now if the chest piece um it does not really look that good it just looks like a hood but this could highly be mistransformed what i think because there's a lot of other images of him so i'm not a hundred percent sure so let's go look at the next one which is the other prototype now starting at robot mode this looks 10 times better and I I believe this is also by Dream Factory because of the similarities. We can see that the chest is 10 times better and more accurate to the movie. And in this other picture, we see him versus the NPM Optimus Prime. And the NPM Optimus Prime, I think he's a bit smaller than the leader class Optimus Prime. So I'm not 100% sure if this Megatron is actually going to scale with the leader class Optimus Prime that we got from Darker Moon and Revenge of the Fallen. But we have to see. Next, we see Megatron in his vehicle mode. And it looks a lot better. I do see a bit more of added detail. And I believe once this is painted this thing is going to look phenomenal here he is next to npm optimus prime side by side yes he is bigger so i think he's going to scale really well with the leader class in our next picture he's actually next to the leader class and next to the npm and he scales really well now how i can tell that this is by the same company is if you remember in the last picture we saw a leader class optimus prime and if you look at one of his shoulders his shoulder piece is turned backwards and has all that gray while the other side is red it's the exact same optimus prime they used so this megatron is most likely by the same company and it's going to be the final project. Here's another picture of his vehicle mode, and it looks really good from this shot. We can see the window, we can see the spikes, and to me, they did change a lot because the spikes on the original one looked like they could be folded up and down. This one looks all solid. He also doesn't have that toe hook piece, which is kind of sad, but hey, this grill looks 10 times better than the original, in my opinion. Here's another picture up close. Now, with the hood, we do see, like, this split. Now, maybe that's just air, it broke, or it's not going to be on the real figure when it releases. And now we're going to be moving on to these uh, rendered images that I saw. So we can see this Megatron and it looks amazing. Just look at the hands all the way down to the feet. Now we do want to start with the hands first because if you remember in Dark of the Moon, he had one very alien-like hand and like more of a human hand. And this hand has all that detail, which looks really cool. You can see his abdomen area, which looks really cool. Now the chest, I do not know this is going to be like a faux chest. And if you don't know what a faux chest is, it's basically a fake chest. Like how they did with the Dark of the Moon 
uh, deluxe sound wave. I highly doubt that this is going to be a foam chest, and I think the grill is actually going to split up to look like this. I really want to see that engineering because it's going to be amazing. To his shoulder pads, they look much more slim. We do not see those tires that we saw in the last one. The head looks more accurate, and under his head, I don't know if you can see that detail, but those are springs that he had in Dark of the Moon, and I think they're going to be painted red when this is out. Back to the feet. The feet in the middle now have that claw piece, which looks a lot better than the original prototype. So this thing looks spot on. Now let's go move on to a back shot of him. Now in this back shot, we can see a lot of cool detail, and I believe that this toy is actually going to come with his gun, as we see in this picture. I hope it does, because that was one of the things of Megatron and Dark of the Moon, that he had a cool shotgun. And I really do hope he also comes with his hoodie. Next, here's a side shot of Megatron. Now we can see his arm. Now his arm does look really movie accurate, and this picture does look more in low res. Yes, it's a rendering, so it's not the final project, but it's a really good image on how we're going to see the final project. And what I really do like is how he has those shoulder pads that were like, I believe his light piece, which looks really cool. Our last image of Megatron is him holding his shotgun, and him holding it looks pretty cool. It would be perfect to fit in with your Sentinel Prime and Optimus Prime. Well, that's all for this piece of news. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Trans Theories. If you have a theory you want me to cover, please give a comment down below and I'll get to it as soon as possible. This has been Trans Theories, signing off. Well, you're caught within the grill.